Good morning, my dear friends. Today we are going to talk about Smart India Hackathon Hardware Edition 2019. We are receiving large number of messages on social media, large number of emails from students asking what about the hardware edition, when will be the results declared, what are the next steps and that is the reason I am here today to discuss with you all, all the formalities involved in Smart India Hackathon hardware edition moving forward. So, I think the results have started coming out already and within next 3-4 days all the results will be announced. This year we received huge response for hardware edition. We received more than 20,000 entries in various categories. In, uh, we received about 3,500 entries in student innovation category, then large number of entries for MSMEs as well as humongous amount of entries for uh, the problem statements which came from various private organizations and industries. So, we had multiple committees, people are evaluating it and now we have started uh, coll uh, collecting, uh, compiling results and displaying them. There are few more very important parameters why uh, we are going to consider while we are looking at hardware edition. The first and foremost important factor which we will use for selecting the projects is the wow factor. As hardware editions are extremely expensive, we will be extremely strict about selecting the projects for the step 1 uh, uh, and then step 2 which will be in May. So, the wow factor is going to be extremely critical for us. So, I think we have as I said we have received 20,000 entries out of which only approximately 1,000 entries or even less than that will get selected. Not Every problem statement uh, will uh, have entries this time or selected teams. The reason is many companies have come to us saying that they have evaluated the problem the submissions made by students and they have not found anything really good or suitable. So, for this hardware edition, there could be many problem statements where we will not announce any teams. Wow factor is going to be extremely critical for us. Then what is the methodology? So, what we are going to do is once the results are announced as you may be knowing the first batch is already announced and in the next two, three days the other results will be uh, all the results will be announced. We will give students about one and a half month to create a prototype, a working prototype. We are not going to fund students to build that prototype. Students have to build it from their own expenses or college can support that like last time. And the students are expected to submit a three minute video to us of the working prototype showing that it is working. We would like to see a working video. We do not want PowerPoint presentations, we do not want any documents after one and a half month. So, the selected teams will have to start work on their prototypes and by 15th of May, I am repeating the date that on 15th of May, you have to or before 15th of May, you have to submit a 3 minutes video to us on your concept. Then we will share this video with all our evaluators, they will look at the video and then they will select the team for the final grand finale which is scheduled on 8th of July. The hardware hackathon will be a 5 day hackathon from 8th of July to 12th of July. So, for that we are going to hire about workshops. So, we have not still decided on the number of centers, how many centers we will have and so on. So, my team is working on it, but 
we are going to go ahead and hire a workshop and in that workshop you will get everything what you require to convert your working prototype which you have developed into a video into something really very solid or very uh, what we could say or we can say a version from version 1.0 to version 2.0 we want students to actually build good fancy very attractive products during that five day grand finale so that the good projects we can actually take forward directly for incubation into incubators and explore the possibility of even funding those projects through AICT and MHRD. So again I will repeat step one. Once the results are announced, you need to work on prototypes. Then before 15th of May, you need to submit us the video, a three minute video showing that your prototype works. That video will be again evaluated by the panel of our experts. Once the, uh, the teams get selected based on their uh, evaluation, then the results will be announced and we will take about five, six days to announce that result. So we hope that by 25th or third, uh, 27th of May, we will announce those results. Once those results are announced, students will be assigned design mentors with whom they have to go and work uh, and they have to work uh, not physically going there, but uh, remotely. They have to work on their design, they have to work on their miniaturization, ergonomics, you know, look and feel of the product. You can work with them remotely. Create your plan, create everything, design your own PCBs if required. And then come to Hackathon on 8th of July and actually go ahead and build your products. So, uh, hardware hackathons are very expensive hackathons. And for second round, we are committed to give you almost all the things which you require and all the things which we can certainly give. So what we do usually is that we go ahead and hire a workshop which has rapid prototyping machines, CNC machines, lath machines, you know, 3D, really good 3D printers, laser cutting machines and, and so on and so forth. And those equipments will be available for you 24 by 7 without any cost for during that period of five days. You will also, if you want to some sensors or you want to design your own PCBs or print your own PCBs, then we will also give you those facilities. So we will try to give you as much as we can. So last year, some students even asked for a boat or tankers or small rickshaw or a automobile and we tried giving them that, uh, those vehicles also. So we will try our best to give you every possible equipment which you require to make your 1.0 version, which is a very crude prototype into something which is really good, okay, which is showcaseable for others. And actually it could lead to incubation of a, a small startup. So that is very, very critical for us. And during the entire process, the wow factor is going to be very important for us in selecting the teams, handholding the teams and taking projects forward. So, as I said earlier, all problem statements may not will have teams because if, team, if companies come to us or if ministries come to us saying that none of the ideas are good, we are not going to announce results for them. Then, there could be a possibility that a, one team has submitted multiple ideas, okay? So last, during the software hackathon, we actually selected the team and the team had to work on the selected problem statement, uh, which we did. But here for hardware, we will give you choice. For example, if your submissions get selected for two different problem statements, we will come back to you and ask on which problem statement you would like to work and create that prototype. You have to select that prototype, you have to inform us or you have to select that problem statement, you have to inform us. Then we will approve it 
and you start building your prototype okay so this is what is uh, the plan so you will have one and a half month to build your prototype that version 1.0 and then you will have one one month about approximately one month one month 10 days to actually work on your 2.0 version also but we expect you to actually for 2.0 work on design work on miniaturization so that you actually make a very very cool product okay so that's what we expect uh, you to do during the second or, or the grand finale so and for that as i said we will give you designers designers will ask for some stake so if a startup gets created then the designers can get anywhere between 2% to 5% equity and that ha that will be negotiated post hackathon based on the contribution of the designer and what you accept so it will be based on mutual discussions and agreements but it will happen post hackathon so on 12th of july once the results are out we will start working with the winning teams on developing the business plan and other long term requirements related to funding and we will push those projects into dst incubators or atal incubation atal incubators to ensure that a startup gets created and you actually start moving on an entrepreneurial journey so i think the process is very very clear uh regarding uh, how we are going to proceed another important thing which you need to take care of is the training part so my team will get in touch with the winning teams or the shortlisted teams for the first round and they have to do some mandatory trainings which are on swayam and so we will consider that that if your prototype is selected we will also check whether you have done those trainings on swayam so the list of trainings which you have to do it will be about 5 to 6 trainings which you have to do or maybe couple of more than that and that is mandatory so my team will get in touch with you through email uh, highlighting the list of trainings also which you need to complete before 15th of may before you submit the video of your working prototype so i hope that i am very clear on the process part the methodology part and i wish you all the best for the hardware edition and i really hope that we come out with some real cool products which we all will be proud of thank you thank you very much